If your thermostat store close, here is a quick fix on how to go about it. You need to understand that a thermostat is just a small valve that open and close. When it close, it prevent coolant from circulation. And when it close, when it opens, it allow coolant to circulate around your engine. You need coolant to go around the engine. And when coolant store closed, what happened? That causes overheating and when the overheating happen what happen your temperature goes up and also if you check your upper hose radiator it become cool that is to tell you something that your thermostat is store closed so what do you have to do that's a quick fix that you can do though you are not a mechanic but don't worry I'll tell you how to go about this now the first thing you have to do is that you have to get a hand glove always ensure that you have a hand glove in your car then you need a socket or a screwdriver or any tools that can lose the housing of your thermostat then you are going to need a container this container will prevent coolant from spilling the ground then you need a bottle of water or cooler that you can use to top your radiator after you are finished the job now how to go about it let's start after one and the other the first thing that you need to locate the thermostat the thermostat it has a housing and the housing is at the upper part of very close to your radiator just look at the upper part of your radiator hose where it connected to that is where your um, thermostat is located then after you have located the thermostat what do you have to do you have to drain the coolant in your radiator why so that you will not waste too much uh, coolant because if you drain the coolant that will reduce the level of coolant in circulation and when you remove your thermostat that will prevent a lot of thermostat from being waste and number three is that you need to rem remove the thermostat i've told you already you need tools to remove the thermostat sometimes in most cases you only have to lose two screw or bolt before you can remove the thermostat this is the thermostat housing as you can see now look at how i'm going to lose the two bolts see me doing it can you see now now this is how i lose the bolt of the thermostat now what you have to do you have to remove the thermostat and when you remove the thermostat what are you going to do next you have to fix back the housing without the thermostat yes you heard me correctly you have to install it you have to put back the housing cap without this thermostat why because there's nothing you can do about the thermostat so you have to run your engine without the thermostat and you assemble everything back as it is so when you run your engine without the thermostat what will you explain what do you expect your engine will run cooler but there will be no overheat so when you get home or you can drive straight to a mechanic workshop or a garage where they are going to fix or you are going to um replace your thermostat that is how you can go about a quick fix but don't forget you need to ensure that you replace the thermostat as quick as possible because if you allow if you keep running your car like that that means that your engine will not get to optimal temperature to be difficult to get the optimal temperature why because of it without thermostat the coolant just keep flowing at any given time because there's no restriction you know the coolant regulate when coolant should flow around the engine and when to stop coolant from flowing around the engine so that there will be sufficient or the uh, temperature of the engine will reach optimum or a normal engine temperature hope you learned something from this video if you learned something new from this video please don't forget to subscribe like see you in another video